What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are ya? Oh. My. God. Today, we are revealing the follow-up to the iconic internet-breaking conspiracy palette, and we are revealing Blood Sugar Part 3. Yes, the rumors are true. I know that me, Shane, and Andrew may have leaked my mini bundle that goes <laughs> with this collection a few weeks ago, but... The Blood Lust Collection is almost here, baby, and today we are going to reveal everything! Are you ready? Okay, so I just want to give a quick warning that 2020, it's gonna be insane. If y'all thought 19 was crazy, get ready because 2020 Jeffree Star Cosmetics, we are expanding. We have so many brand new products, minus we might create a few more palettes of the year, but besides that, we are expanding into a lot of categories. So 2020, you are going to see the first ever Jeffree Star Cosmetics mascara formula. You're gonna see liquid eyeshadows. You're gonna see a bunch of new lip formulas, and there are so many more surprises and things in the works that I cannot wait to show you soon. But I thought, listen, blood sugar, the palette, the, my red baby, it changed my life, it broke records for us, and it is still my top selling palette minus Conspiracy and Jawbreaker. So, after Blue Blood broke records last year, I said I really need a third baby. And when you combine red and blue, bitch, we all know, you get purple. And I really wanted a purple moment. Now, purple shadows are very hard to create when it's in a vegan formula, so I do want to put that out there that I really tried to perfect them, and oh my god, I think I when creating this palette, I wanted to make packaging that was out of this world, that was next level, and after doing three trunks, I said, what is next for this brand, right? Like, we really made some jaw drops. A lot of people are like, oh my god, like, what? And you guys really saw, for the first time, the price and how much it costs to make these insane products. So, without further ado, I know you guys saw the little sneak peek of the Velvet Hexagon, and now it's time to unveil the entire Bloodlust collection. Okay, now I know we all need to see what is inside of here. Now, my inspiration for this entire collection, look, we did red, we did blue, and to me, blue blood was very royal. Like, that was my royal moment. I did not want to call this palette royal blood, purple blood. I think that's too easy. With Jeffree Star Cosmetics, we always want to take it to the next level. I want to invoke some feelings. I know it's makeup, but I like to have a real theme. Almost like I'm launching an album every time, you know what I mean? So from Jawbreaker to Thirsty to now Bloodlust, I want to bring you guys feelings and like, hello, good morning, hi packaging. This may be one of my favorite unicartons I've ever done. I love it. Um, now when designing this, oh my god, I want it to be very like, Yes, it's, there's some royal moments in there, but really dark and dramatic and just very high fashion. So we're about to open up everything right now and play, but I thought for the third installment, we really have to do something sickening, and the Bloodlust Collection is all about, it's, it's teetering on a little bit of like vampire love, sex, devotion, and it's just all about passion, um, and my passion for artistry. So this collection, means a lot to me and this may be one of my most favorite packagings I've ever created. So of course we're about to take everything out but I'm gonna say some quick tea. You guys know I am the most honest person and I want to have full transparency. When shipping eyeshadow palettes, sometimes what happens y'all? They break! Um, it happens with anyone that ships any palette on the planet, of course it can break. So when creating this, I said I didn't want to create a square unit carton. I wanted to create a buffer, and almost like a bumper, so even if there's no bubble wrap, even if there's 20 million bubble wraps around this, I wanted to make sure that you had a palette that when you opened it, and whether you throw the box away or you keep it, your shadows were intact. So. Let me take this out and explain. This palette has a bumper around it, so we're gonna take this out. Hello, hi, we're gonna open this baby in a second. But there is this bumper around it where if you get it, it may have a little bit of creasing in here, but this is a protector, so once you get your palette, bitch, you can throw it out. You could keep it if you want, but it is gonna make sure that your palette stays flawless. Now it's time to open up the Bloodlust palette. Of course, you guys see the packaging is very different than what we've ever done before. This is, yes, actual real velvet fabric. It feels amazing. It is a very heavy and sturdy palette. It has a jewelry clasp opening here. I wanted to do something different than the trunks and the clasps. Hello, it's 2020, baby. And you guys can see the shape and the size. It's slim, it's beautiful, 
Yes, you can travel with this. It's not too massive. I've seen brands do way bigger. Um, and I wanted to really just push the envelope of packaging for what makeup can do. So let's open up the Velvet Hexagon and dive into the collection. Let's open up the Bloodlust Palette. Oh my God, yes. Woo! Just seeing it on camera for the first time is getting me off <laughs> right now. Oh my God, all right you guys, so. Let's zoom in, let's dive in. Here are all 18 shades. Now this is a very eclectic palette. Of course there are all different tones of purple, but you see a very big hint of teal, a hot metallic red. Okay, now what I'm most excited about about this palette is that there are brand new formulas that I've never made before, and I'm sure you guys have already spotted a few of them. They are so wet looking on the lid. I'm wearing one right here. This is shade Wet Jewel, which is right there. Um, oh my god, it's so good, and it's very highly concentrated, and it looks like diamonds. So there's a new formula in this palette. Of course, we have the iconic matte JSC formula in here, as well as the iconic metallic formula. Um, but let's talk about it. You guys, if you want to pause the video, sound off below already. How are we feeling about the packaging, about the shades, about the design? Of course, you guys see the stunning filigree in here. And we do have some unique stamps, as always, with the palette that we will dive into in a second. This is the Bloodlust palette. And I'm really proud of this because the packaging, oh my god, girl, it was so difficult, but we wanted it perfect. Um, and this metal on the front with the stunning gold. Oh, I'm just so happy how it turned out. It's time to swatch everything. And of course, you guys see we have lip glosses, we have five glosses, an extreme frost, a mini bundle, and a lot of accessories. Now, we of course wanted to package things a little different. So when you actually get a fresh palette, I'm gonna kind of put it back how it was. It comes with this protector. Now listen, I know we all hate plastic. It's f***ing up the planet, but for eyeshadow, palettes, it needs a protector. You guys know I'm all about minimizing packaging. I don't do massive PR kits like other brands. I don't send out crazy things like that. Um, but with shadows, I have gotten, I'm talking a million emails to customer service to put plastic on the palette. So we listened. It also comes with a piece of plastic on the mirror. Um, so you guys know that it is fresh, sweetie. I wanted to let you guys know about that. It is gonna come very protected. There should be no broken shadows. Of course, things happen. Some FedEx workers kick things across the floor. And if you're watching this and you do that, stop it! All right, I think it's time to swatch this. That's what we're here for. Now, of course, this layout is a little bit different because the shape is a hexagon. Now, the first two shades are called Your Majesty and Take the Crown. I am gonna do finger swatches. Now, you guys know I have long bloodlust nails. So we are gonna swatch on my hand and we're gonna talk about everything and you guys are gonna see everything up close and personal. Let's start. All right, so let's start swatching. Now, first of all, the Bloodlust palette itself will retail for $54. Um, this palette was very expensive to make. The packaging alone, girl. I know most brands would not put out something like this. You guys saw the cost of goods reveal in my series with Shane. And listen, we were very transparent. We showed a lot. A lot of brands were shook that we showed so much. But um, I think being fully transparent in this day and age is very important. We're gonna start swatching right now. So. Your Majesty and Take the Crown, let's dive in. All right, I'm gonna swatch them by row. So here is, of course, the two top, Your Majesty and Take the Crown. Now, Your Majesty is a really cool bone color. You guys know I love to start my palettes off with a white color, where whether it's matte or shimmer, every palette has kind of gotten that feel. So I wanted to keep up that theme, and this is a more like ivory bone color. It's stunning. I'm wearing it today under the shimmer and a little above here. But the next one, I know you guys can see immediately on the brow bone, um, is Take the Crown, and it is a very icy metallic lavender. Let's dive in into the second row. There are four shades, and of course, you may be like, Jeffrey, why is there one missing? I'm gonna swatch it live for you because it is a brand new formula. So we have Deviant right here. It is a matte lavender. It is so pretty, and it is about, I would say, five shades lighter than the lavender in Jawbreaker. You guys know I do not repeat shades ever, and this one is just straight up matte. It's stunning. Now, the next shade is Beauty Sleep, <laughs> my favorite thing on the planet. This is a duochrome gold piece pink and it has this like, oh, it's just so pretty. I can't get over it. It's one of the most, I think, most pretty shades I've ever made. Now, the next one is called Wet 
Jewel. We, of course, are going to swatch it live for you right here. Um, and it is on my lid, like I said earlier. It is so pretty. You can, of course, use a brush. Um, you don't need to wet it, but you can. I go in right with the finger and just go BAM! Um, so let's swatch Miss Wet Jewel. Oh, the texture. It feels so yummy and buttery when you're swatching it. I'm gonna show you guys right here. This looks good on your cheeks, on your lips, on your lid. Ooh! Yes, it looks like glass. It's not for the faint of heart. You definitely need to want to be that bitch to wear these type of shades. All right, now the fourth shade in that row is called Royal Pain. Um, one of my favorite shades. This is such a cool, warm, bizarre red mauve tone that it's really great to buff out a lot of the purple. So let's say you go in with like Blood Queen right here, like in, um, on set, Nicole Lipstick Nick. Hi baby! She did all the makeup for the campaigns of course and she would dip into that to buff out the purples and it looked sickening. Um, we will throw up some of the campaign images throughout this video. Yes, sweetie! Okay, so let's move on to the third row. Here is the third row. It has six shades. Of course, the palette is a little unique, so to fit all the squares in there, I put six in the third row. So let's start left to right. This beautiful dark purple plum. It's called Dungeon. It is a matte shade and I am obsessed with it. Next we have Scandal Water. Now that means gossip in the old and medieval times if you're wondering what that means. And in the pan you guys see a beautiful goblet cup stamped in there. It is a really cool shade. It's kind of lavendery with a hint of blue in there. It's very Willy Wonka. Um, violet. <laughs> now, the next shade, Sworn Enemy. It is a stunning gold green that has a really cool shift in it. It has a little bit of glitter in there. I love it. It's not like a true 24 karat gold. It's a little bit more dark and dramatic. The next shade is called Pink Magic and it is the same formula as Wet Jewel. Um, now, Pink Magic is over here on my eye. It is so pretty and I think it is, I know I say that a lot, like it's one of my favorite shades I've ever created, but the way that the pigment just hits on that lid with the shift, deceased. Next we have this beautiful fire metallic red and it is called Bleeding Heart. Now you see in the pan it has a stunning jeweled heart in there. I really wanted to create a drop of red in there. I knew that it needed it. Hi, red and purple together is one of my favorite combinations, but I didn't want it to look like blood sugar. So yeah, I put one red in there and I think that it really made everything like offset and stunning in the perfect way. The last shade in that row, I know you guys are like, what the hell? It's called Executioner and it is a stunning black with a purple pink shift in there and the glitter really, it looks like that. You guys see I have clean fingers, like you guys know. A lot of people are gonna be like, Jeffrey, does that really look like that? Baby, it literally looks like that, like on your finger. It is so pretty, and it actually looks like that on the lid. Because sometimes I play with shadows and makeup, and I'm like, okay, I swatch it, and there's no sparkle. This holds all that glitter in there, and it looks epic. Okay, here is the fourth row in the palette. Oh my god, no, these are all matte. They are beautiful. From left to right, let's start. Of course, we have High King right here, and if you look in the pan, it does have a magical wand. It is a beautiful berry purple, really good for just smoking out your bottom lash line, and a really good mix to blend out all the purples. Next shade is a shocking, amazing lavender that is way brighter than Deviant. It is called Vivid Mood and it is a straight up hot lavender purple. It is so pretty and it definitely matches my outfit, hey? Now the next shade is called Monarchy. It is a beautiful muted brown that this all over the lid by itself in the crease. If you're someone that is like, I need a, a, a simple color to blend everything out, this is that girl. It matches and goes with everything. Now the next shade, the last in this row, is called Blood Queen and it has a beautiful royal crown pan um, shape in there, stamped in. Now this shade is a straight up purple matte. It's like a reddish eggplant moment and I love this shade. It's so pretty. It's definitely not for the faint of heart and oh, it's so, I, I, keep, I keep saying pretty but I'm looking in the monitor like, oh, 
Like, hi girl, how are ya? All right, I cannot believe we're towards the end of this palette reveal, oh my god. So, there are two shades left at the bottom. We have Vile Serpent and Betrayal. Now, Vile Serpent is a just straight up matte, hot teal. It's stunning, I'm wearing it right here on my lower lash line, I'm obsessed with it. And of course, Betrayal is a beautiful purple that has this stunning gold duochrome shift to it. It's really pretty, I love it. Now, this whole palette, I'm so proud of it, you guys. It looks so, like, it's everything I imagined for this collection. Um, now, of course, sound off below. What do you think of the Bloodlust palette? Of course, we have a lot more things to swatch and reveal, but the big daddy is here, and I cannot wait, you guys. February 21st, by the way. This entire collection comes out, and it's gonna be insane. So, let's keep swatching, you guys, because the glosses might be my favorite ones I've ever made. All right, let's keep swatching. Now, this collection has five amazing lip glosses. Now, when I launched the gloss last year, um, I couldn't believe how well you guys received them and they have sold insane. So I'm like, okay, I gotta keep making more. Um, I want more sparkle, more drama, what's new. And I really wanted to give you guys something really fun. So here is what the packaging looks like this time around. The Unicarton is a gorgeous metallic purple with, of course, lavender writing. Here's already two of the shade names, Lord Star and Iridescent Throne. Um, I guess let's dive in right now. Hi. So Lord Star is a little ode to Lord Voldemort, which a lot of people like to call me. Um, I take it as a compliment. I love it. I think it's funny. <laughs> so Lord Star is here, baby. And this gloss is so pretty. It's fuchsia with beautiful blue and purple reflex. And we're gonna swatch them for you right here. Oh my God, hi, how are ya? Hi, look at that color, I just, I can't. It is so pretty. And here, I'll do one more dunk. Obviously, you guys know these are on the sheer side. They're not fully opaque, but they're pretty opaque still. And there is a Lord Star. And of course, you guys also see that this comes in the same component as the original gloss, but it is now all purple chrome. I think it turned out perfect. Now, this shade is called Iridescent Throne. It is a beautiful, really, really pale icy lavender with the most stunning reflex in it. And we'll just do a little swatch next to it. Oh my God. Hi, how are you? You guys see that reflection in there? It's like glass. It is so pretty and it has those blue and purple reflex that just make it like, uh, like, hi. All right, the next shade is called Wizard's Glass and it is a beautiful bronze with pink and gold reflex in there and a little bit of a purple reflect just to really make it like next level. I'm gonna swatch this straight across this way for a second. It is one of my favorites because the way that when the light hits it, the purple and pink glitter in there, it's like, it's over. Hi. The next shade is called a Sorcery. It is a beautiful light peach with pink and purple and blue reflex in it. And I don't know if this is my favorite one. It might be. I've been wearing this one a lot. And when you swatch it, oh, it's just like so pretty. I love this by itself, but all of these look so good over lipsticks as well. But I am obsessed with this one. It just looks like Barbie's candy. Last but not least, we have Gloss Shade Sickening. It is a beautiful periwinkle with gold and pink reflex in it. It is the fifth gloss in the collection. Um, all five retail for $18, of course. Now this one, oh my God, I love it. It's like, mmm. It's a little bit more muted than the other ones and it has this really stunning gold in there. Let me spread it a little bit more. Hi, hand. I love it. It's a little bit more on the clear, shiny side, but the pearl really pumps through and it looks like diamonds. Okay, before we dive into the liquid lip bundle, I do want to show off an exclusive to the Jeffree Star Cosmetics website. And this is a brand new Extreme Frost Highlighter. Now, when I launched these this holiday for our fifth year anniversary, I did not expect the response I got. Now, when creating this product, I was like, okay, I know it has to be expensive, the formula's insane, there's nothing like it on the market. So when they went up and they sold out in record time, I was like, 
Oh, okay, got it. Now to create this formula, you can't do a million shades because it's very unique, the texture, the way it reflects, hi, right here. Um, and if you played with it, you know it's a little special. So introducing the purple extreme frost, the shade is called Choking on Ice. And this, oh my God, it's so good. In the campaign images with me in the, um, in the bed with all the guys, we rubbed this on all their bodies and it looked so unreal on camera. All right, so here's what the packaging looks like when you take off the sleeve. It is all purple vegan leather. Of course, that means it's faux, it's not real, but it feels very luxurious and amazing. Now let's open her up. Whoa. <laughs> all right, you guys see that it's in a purple chrome component. Let's take it out. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. Obsessed. Here is what the back of it looks like, of course. Now, let's just open it up because this looks like purple diamonds on your skin. I'm just gonna do one little swipe, one only. Oh my God. Now, if you want to, you can take this and just put it right here. I'm gonna put a tiny bit right there. It is so pretty. Now, I love to just take this, you guys, with my fingers and literally just rub it everywhere. It looks like, oh, heaven on the skin. Now, of course, these retail for $50, and this product is exclusive to JSC, but everything else, of course, will be um, available on all my retailers, inside of Morphe stores, everything um, except this little baby. So, let's move on. All right, now, introducing the brand new mini bundle. This is the purple mini bundle. Of course, we labeled it Queen Bitch, and a lot of you guys saw this. Trend Mood posted it. Yes, we accidentally leaked this. No, that was not intentional. Oops. But it was a nice forewarning for what was coming. First of all, we've done a lot of these minis, right? You guys know that these, we've done nudes, we've done the blues, we've done the reds, we've done the equality bundle. Now here is the purple bundle. Oh my God, I'm so happy with how this turned out. All right, now with every mini bundle, I do like to throw in a few shades that have never been created before. So with this one, there are two shades that are brand new and I will never make them again unless it is inside of this box. But shades that you guys are very familiar with, let's start over here. We have I'm Royalty, Scorpio, Virginity, Blow Pony, Clout, and berries on ice. Now the two brand new shades are right here, these two. They're really beautiful, they're metallic, and I'm gonna show and swatch them with you, but we have royal armor, and we have I'm a vulgar. All right, now this shade is an icy lavender metallic, it's called royal armor, and it is more of a, kind of like a topper. It does, of course, have amazing pigment, but this over any shade is so pretty. Excuse my hands, you guys, there's eyeshadow everywhere, but this shade is so pretty and it looks really good by itself or over any other lip. All right, now I'm Vulgar is a stunning fuchsia metallic. I, listen, when I saw this done in the lab, we were creating pigments and I was like, okay, I want something a little different. This just stood out to me and I'm like, I've never created a shade with that kind of like chrome fuchsia moment. So it may be my favorite in the bundle. Um, it's stunning. Now, let me swatch the other shades that you guys already are familiar with really quickly next to this one. All right, here are all the shades swatched. Let's go down the line again, of course. We have I'm Vulgar. We have I'm Royalty. We have Scorpio. We have Virginity. We have Blow Pony. We have Clout. We have berries on ice, and of course, we have the new shade Royal Armor right here. I'm wearing Virginity with a lip liner. Hi, shout out to the lip liners. They're gonna be coming back real soon, by the way. Um, and we're doing a shade extension, PS, that comes out soon. But here is the mini bundle. Now this retails for $52, just like all the other minis. It comes in this gorgeous box, as always, and it is purple this time. Hi. You guys know that every collection, I have to drop some amazing merch to go with it, and this time, everything is purple, honey. So, we have brand new JSC mirrors. This is what the box looks like. Of course, you guys saw the new iconic crown mirror in the intro. I wanted to do a few different shapes. Of course, the star mirror, oh my God. We've sold millions of those now, and I can't believe how they have spread. They're, they've literally been shipped to over 200 countries, and it's just so surreal. Um, of course, we have the new Jeffree Star approved mirrors that launched. 
um, earlier this month and now we have of course the new crown mirror for this collection now this crown mirror retails for $30 and the star mirrors are 25 so minus this we do have some amazing star mirrors now we have two for this collection this is a soft touch lavender we're gonna zoom in now this looks matte it is it feels so good it's really soft and it is soft touch and it is stunning. The third mirror in this collection is a beautiful purple glitter. Let me try to get in the lighting. Oh, hello glitter. And this one is so pretty. I love the glitter effect in this one now. Here are all three. Of course, the crown, the soft touch, and the glitter. Which one is your favorite? I love them all. All right, now you guys know I've been doing straws for a while now, and we have a brand new four pack metal and aluminum straw set. Now you guys know these retail for $19.99, and I love the purple. We have four different shades, three bent, one straight, and of course a cleaner comes with this. As well as the purple, hi, we're gonna pull up a few grinders. Now these are for all my cannabis lovers. These are two brand new grinders, and they have all been rebranded with the new J. S logo with the cannabis flower on the star and the grinders are $20 and we have a mauve and a violet I, I I love these now if you don't know what a grinder is this is used for grinding down um, marijuana you can also put your broken highlighters in here if you drop them on the floor which I saw someone do on YouTube genius um, okay there is a few more purple items let's dive in all right now so many people asked for more colors in the JSC cross body bag so I made it in a gorgeous royal purple with gold hardware I love how this looks. These are really fun. My assistant Madison loves wearing these when we go to events to put um, all my essentials. Inhaler, um, blunt, um, lip gloss, piece of uh, Kit Kat, and um, all my dignity. So <laughs> these are retail for $45. And hi hats, we have two new hats. We have a purple crown and a lavender crown and dad hat. These are both $25. I feel like I'm in QVC right now. Hello everybody. <laughs> um, I know people love the hats, they're custom. They come with um, a logo inside and of course right here. I, I mean look at, I, I know you guys don't see me wear hats often but bitch, I love a good hat moment, hi. Okay, so we also have a few more March items. Now these are exclusive to JSC. Yes, honey. All right, now we have the Bloodlust Bomber Jacket. I am obsessed with how this turned out. It's really more of a luxury item and when you get this, it does come with the hanger. So we have new JSC hangers that are coming with the more luxury items. This does retail for $60. Um, it feels really nice. It is, of course, two-tone, and when you open it up, it has a pocket inside, the sizing in here, and I love the hanger, so when you get it in the mail, it's like, hi, bam, ready to go in your closet. Um, now, this jacket is exclusive to JeffreeStarCosmetics.com, as well as this stunning windbreaker. Hello, it's cold and wintry a lot of places. And this is the jacket. I love it. It's Definitely, um, if you love purple, baby, this is for you. Now, the wind breakers, of course, retail for $45, and it has an embroidered crown right there, and hi, she's really cute, bitch. Oh my god, you guys, this completes the entire Bloodlust collection reveal. I cannot wait for everyone to see and touch everything. Now, remember, let's do a quick recap. The palette and everything in this entire collection launches February 21st at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. That is 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Jeffree Star Cosmetics and all of my retailers. So, saddle up. This is going to be a crazy collection and this is just the start of 2020. I really wanted to start off with a bang and just take things to the next level. So, of course, you guys, we have a lot coming up. Remember that the Extreme Frost Highlighter and a few of the jackets are exclusive to my website, but everything else will be available worldwide. Oh my God, okay, I know I've said oh my God 50,000 times. I am just so excited. This collection is something that we've been working on for a long time. I'm so proud of it. The JSC team killed it. Everyone involved from the art department to the lab and the formulas, to the photography, to the video, to everything. Thank you, Team JSC. We are killing it, we are unstoppable, and I'm so excited for this year. All right, you guys. Star family, I love you so much. And I will be uploading a tutorial where one of my best friends, Mama Mitchell, takes it there and does a full glam with the bloodlust palette that will be up in a few days after this video so i will see you guys soon i love you Mwah. until next time